Hello and welcome to the City of Love. Welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I am in Agra in the city of love. Now this city has so much to offer. Beautiful historic monuments, amazing food and thankfully at this time of the year good weather. And in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of this from my Agra trip. So without further ado, let's get started. Since this is my first time in Agra, I thought of exploring as much as I could. So right now I'm starting the video at Agra Fort. This fort is the perfect example of one of the finest Mughal forts in India. It was initially built as a military structure but later on it was transformed into a palace by Shah Jahan. The fort is also known as Red Fort because it is made in this red sandstone and it kind of reminds me of Jaipur's pink sandstone but this red has a different feel. This is the Diwane arm of the Agra fort. Huge arches, really strong pillars with a little bit of carving on them. And here you could actually see Shah Jahan's throne. And that throne apparently had a lot of precious stones, including the Kohinoor diamond. This here is Jahangir's bathtub and you can see the sheer size of it. Now this behind me is Jahangir's palace and I'm about to go there next. If there's one thing that you can enjoy from this fort, it is the view of the Taj. And there is the Yamuna River. The Agra Fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and there is so much beauty within the fort. Apart from the structure, I think you'll also enjoy the chirping of the birds, the beautiful green lawns and the intricacy of the architecture. The fort is open daily from 6am to 6pm. The ticket to the Agra Fort costs rupees 35 each for Indian citizens. I booked the ticket online and I honestly feel that's the most convenient way to book the ticket. So do check the link in the description box for that. While coming in, the security will frisk you. Make sure you're not carrying any eatables because they are not allowed inside. You can take about an hour or so to explore the fort and know more about its history. And I am going to be heading out from here now and seeing you at the next destination. The next stop is this beautiful green garden known as Mehtab Bagh. So many people told me that you have to come here because not only does this have an amazing view of the Taj Mahal, but it's also so nice, lush and green. To my left are trees, to my right are trees and right there is also the Taj Mahal. If there's one thing that you can enjoy at Mehtab Bagh, it is the sunset. Here behind me, I can see the golden sun going down and the light of it kind of sort of reflecting a little bit on the Taj with this beautiful greenery and the sounds of the birds this place is a gem through the trees when you're walking you'll come across this path where you'll straight off be able to see the Taj Mahal and if you're here during sunset time then let me tell you this it's the best time to click pictures here stand right here in between all the greenery and behind is the Taj it has to make for a good photo we actually got up here and on my right I can see like the whole stretch of the bag, so much greenery and ahead I can see the sunset and here I can see the Taj Mahal so much more closer. Mehta Park is the place to come on a full moon night which is I think the only time when you'll be able to see Taj Mahal with some light at night. Otherwise, any kind of lighting is not allowed in the monument. The meaning of Mehta Bagh is also moonlit garden. So on full moon nights, if you're here, make sure you make this plan. Now it's time for some Pet Puja and I am here at Sadar Bazaar which is one of the most famous market areas for shopping and stuff and also there is a lane here which is just dedicated to charge. When my taxi guy told me that I was like yes I need to visit. So this is what the lane looks like. It is absolutely lit. Shops with like bright lights and lots of people enjoying their food. That's a scene that you can expect here. You'll find international dishes like Chinese food, momos, pizza, pasta. And you'll find a lot of desi stuff as well. So chaat, tikki, desi style corn, chaap, roll, tikka, all of that. I just had a pani puri but it was very okay okay. Now I saw this sweet corn fellow so that's what I'm having. Ek masala corn, stirring up some nice garam garam masala corn. Let's see how he does it. So in this weather, you can see I'm all jacketed up. This garam garam sweet corn hits different. Mm. Best part is he actually 
lets you taste before you know making the entire thing to check the spice levels and stuff. This little glass worth 50 rupees is uh, really really good value. Found somebody selling malai chap, so that's what I'm trying next. I've never tried malai chap in my life, so this is soya chap with such a creamy marinade. Of course, it's called malai chap, and uh, the flavoring is just mind blowing. On its own, it's good, but I'm gonna try this. I don't know. I think it's a sweet chili sauce that he's given. The sauce doesn't have as much flavor as much as the chap itself has. Let's try the green chutney. The coriander chutney is mind blowing. Burst of flavor. It's got a little bit of uh, mint pudina. This is the good stuff. And the little bits of onion in between are adding a lot of flavor. The price of this entire plate of malai chap is 150 rupees. The name of this shop is Sadarji Paneer Tikka Wale and this is also in the same chart bazaar at Sadar Bazaar. They have different types of chap, paneer tikka, Sanduri momos, sanduri chap. So I think this is something that you must visit when you're here. Next thing that I'm trying is Alu Tiki Chaat. And this is a shop called Agra Chaat House. I saw a lot of crowd here. I actually saw stickies being fried from a distance. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm going to try that. And there were also little pieces of aloo. Almost reminded me of aloo too. That actually go in the aloo chaat. But here I'm having tiki. It is topped with chutneys and also latcha ginger. Like you can see a little bit of grated ginger. And also couple of cashews. The tiki is piping hot. The outer part is so crunchy. I think you guys can probably hear it. The chutneys are amazing. I like that he actually put pomegranate seeds in between. The sweet chutney has all of the flavor. I think I would like a little bit more chutney. I can also see a little bit of like whole coriander seed which are adding such a zing to this dish. I have to say the size of the tiki is quite big. Like this entire dona is filled. For 60 rupees I think this is completely worth it. We are almost at the end of the tiki and you have to see the oil. Of course it's deep fried but that's some harsh reality moment. Now I'm at Panditji Chaat Bhandar and um, no prizes for guessing what I'm having next. This is good, better than the previous one that I had. But one thing that I miss, you know, because I'm from Bombay, the meetha pani. But this is good, the pani is quite refreshing. Quite strong on hing and jeera though. But good thing is that this one was not overly spicy. The price of this is 20 rupees and you get 5 puris. I think the market comes alive after 4 or 5 p.m. And uh, it goes on till probably 11 p.m. or something. And one thing that I noticed in this market is that all of the shops, at least most of the shops, are selling vegetarian food. Whenever you're in Agra, if there's one thing, actually no, one or two things that you need to buy, it's petha and dal mode. I'm at this shop called Panchi Petha and this is like legendary stuff. Now there are so many different Panchi Pethas. Not everybody knows about the original ones. So I'm going to try and leave the address of the one that I visited in the description box below. Make sure you go there. And the sheer variety of Petha here is like wow. Sandwich Petha, Pan Petha, Chocolate Petha, Kesar Petha, Anguri Petha, Kesar Anguri, Sada Petha. My God, this is quite a bit. I think I'm going to stick to stuff that I love which is the Sada Petha. And I'm going to also check if they have the second thing that you need to buy when you're in Agra, which is dal mot. So this is my entire loot from Panchi Peta. And uh, ever since I heard about this, I knew I had to come here. I've actually tasted their peta before somebody had got it in Mumbai. Dal mot is something that I absolutely enjoy. So I'm taking lots of boxes of that. And Kesar Peta and Sada Peta. How is it that I found out this store is original? I was guided to the store by a local. And second is they have all the possible proof here to show that they are original. So this is my stack of petha, dalmot and a little bit of gajak as well. And I'm going to leave the exact details of this outlet of Panchi Petha, which is in Sadar Bazaar in the description box below. Make sure you come to this one or the other original one. Now you can't come to Agra and not visit Taj Mahal, right? So that's where we're going next. Things that you need to remember before visiting Taj Mahal, first things first, book your ticket online. The website will be in the description box below. The cost of the ticket is Rs 245 per person and this is including the mausoleum tour which is actually 200 per person. And the time that I chose to visit was sunrise which is morning time. So around 6 a.m. I got ready to visit the Taj. Everybody told me this is the best time because the view is absolutely stunning and it's also less crowded. You need to note that you are not allowed to carry any microphone, earphones, tripods, food articles and various other things. So don't carry any of these things because bags are checked pretty strictly at security. One look at the Taj in the morning light and anyone will be mesmerized. I think the white marble looks even more stunning and beautiful.
The one thing that is very striking about the Taj Mahal is the symmetry. It looks exactly the same from all sides. There are three similar gates on the three different sides of Taj, adding to the symmetry of this structure. And on the fourth side is the Yamuna River. The fountains, the beautiful lawns and gardens add to the beauty of this structure. This is the entrance to the mausoleum area. As you enter, you will notice how beautiful it is. The dome, the four minars on the corners and the flooring, it is all ivory white. And as you get closer, you will see the delicate designs and detailed carvings. This calligraphy that you see on the walls of the Taj Mahal is mostly taken from the holy book, the Quran Sharif. One thing that I've noticed is that the Taj changes its color depending upon the amount of light and time. It seems to have a slight pinkish tint in the morning and a bit more milky white in the evening. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is classified as one of the seven wonders of the world. To go near and inside the mausoleum, you have to wear these shoe covers so that the monument remains clean. These cost rupees 10 for a pair. There is no lighting inside the mausoleum. The only source of light inside is sunlight which streams from these jharokhas. Photography and videography is not allowed inside. The Taj Mahal is closed on Fridays for prayer since it has an active mosque inside the premises. So definitely Definitely don't plan your trip here on a Friday. The area around the Taj is trying to be conserved, so only electric vehicles are allowed within 200 meters distance of the Taj Mahal. There are state-run golf carts which take you from the parking lot area to the Taj Mahal area. And these are not operational early morning, but later on in the day you will find them. They charge rupees 20 per person. Else you can travel by a regular e-rickshaw here. I know you guys are going to be wondering about all of my outfits in this video and my Agra series. So I'm going to leave links to that in the description box below. And this bag that I've carried all through the video has been sent to me by a brand called Zook. I've shared my love for their brand earlier. It's a made in India brand, PETA approved, does not cause any harm to animals and they have such a beautiful design. So this sling is one of my current favorites from them and you're going to find a link for that in the description box below. Do check it out and there's also going to be a special discount code for you. The beauty of Agra is also that Taj Mahal is visible from so many different monuments. I showed you how it looks from the Agra Fort, I showed you how it looks from Mehtab Gardens, I showed you the Taj in its entirety and now let me show you another place for a good view. This is the Taj viewpoint which is near Mehtab Bagh. So this is a point on the bank of the river Yamuna and gives a panoramic view of Taj Mahal. In the evening, I feel like this is one of the best places to enjoy the scenic beauty of the Taj. There is an entry ticket and this can be booked again from the website link given in the description box. So Agra is actually pretty well connected by train, by road and by flight. I came here from Mumbai by flight. The airport is actually a really small military based airport and no outside cars or taxis are allowed within like I think 200 or 500 meters of the airport premises. So they actually have shuttle buses which you can take to go until the parking lot where the cabs and stuff wait. The charge per person for this shuttle is rupees 50 and of course since it's a military airport no photography videography of any kind is allowed at the airport. Once you reach the city you're welcomed with an array of petha shops, leather shops which are all things that are special over here in Agra and I'm going to leave all of the details of where to visit, what to buy in the description box below. So those were all the tourist spots that I visited when I was in Agra and I did explore quite a bit outside in a very short span of of time but I also explored quite a bit within the hotel that I'm staying at. I'm staying at the Courtyard by Marriott Hotel and this is such a beautiful, such a gorgeous property and I do have the whole room and property tour, the buffet experiences and other meals that I enjoyed right here. Don't forget to give this video a big like, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel and that is really it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!